Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja. So Bad Dudes is a side-scrolling beat-em-up, very similar to stuff like Double Dragon that we've already talked about. There's really cool levels where uh, one of them you're on top of a, a series, I guess, of uh, tractor trailers. Bad Dudes is known for its intro cutscene that says the following, rampant ninja-related crimes these days, White House is not the exception. And it's got that very famous intro screen that straight up tells you the president has been kidnapped by ninjas and asks you if you're a bad enough dude to save said president. It's one of those things that people remember those scenes more than the game. It's like Zero Hour and the all your base belong to us kind of stuff. Unlike most other beat-em-ups, Bad Dudes does take place entirely on the two-dimensional plane. Beat-em-ups to me seem to work better when you have room to maneuver. It was kind of cool you would pick up weapons along the way, like the nunchucks, but the nunchucks wouldn't like fling like nunchucks, it'd like straight nunchucks, <laughs> it's like bang. Bank. You have two players potentially on screen, plus the enemies, and it's a matter of positioning yourself on platforms, and it just feels odd. The first boss in Bad Dudes was actually Karnov, who has his own game and was actually the mascot for Data East. We, we love Puppy Karnov. Why are you making him a boss? In the Japanese ending, Ronnie gives the characters statues of themselves, where in the American version, he's just like, let's go get burgers. You think he picked up the tab? I should hope so. I would hope so too. They have their own chefs in the White House. 